Good morning, Bucknutters. Welcome to the Bucknuts Morning 5 here on Wednesday, February 17th, 2016. I am Dave Biddle, and I am joined by the people's champ, Matt Baxendale. Bax, big win for Ohio State's basketball team last night. Feels good to say that for a change. They beat visiting Michigan 76-66, to really controlled the game from the opening tip. Buck has now 17-10 and overall, 9-5 and in Big Ten play. Second best win of the year. Uh, you know, I think you have put Kentucky as the best win, although this was the most fun win. It just, you know, the Kentucky win was fun as well, but beating Michigan and just controlling them, a lot of fun. Evan Turner was honored last night. Just a great night all around for Ohio State basketball backs. Yeah, and you have to figure that Evan Turner's presence alone is worth about 10 points against Michigan because, let's face it, how many games did he swing on his own in one season? I mean, <laughs> the guy's a, he's a legend for a reason. The villain himself is now is at his number retired. The team played inspired, I think, just because there's the big crowd. Evan Turner was in the house. And, honestly, this is a win they had to have if this pipe dream of being in the NCAA tournament is still going to be alive. Because if you're not going to be able to win this game, that puts you at 11 losses. You've got a couple more coming up with the Michigan State and the Iowa games and everything. They had to get this win. They had to get it. And for one of the only times all year, from start to finish, they look like a consistently solid, strong basketball team. I mean, if we saw this version of the Buckeyes all year, they'd be at 20 wins already, and we'd be talking about seeding, not whether or not they'd even have a chance of getting in. So it was a good night last night for Ohio State basketball in every respect. And, oh, by the way, it's never a bad night when Ohio State beat Michigan at any phase. ESPN unveiled their court seat cam. Fans were not really happy about this back. They did not like the court seat cam. They did not like the view. What was your take on that? Yeah, give me the higher-up view. I, I don't need to have my view limited of the game. Part of the reason you're watching the game on TV is to get the view of the game that nobody can see in the stadium. There, you, it's like watching football. You're going to put the, the camera right where the coach is standing, and then you can't see anything but six foot eight offensive linemen? No, I want to see the higher-up view. I want to see the view of the game as it breaks down from a big-picture sense. I, that's cool if they want to cut to that every now and then. But all these gimmicky camera angles... They just don't work. Like You just need to give people what they're used to seeing so they can enjoy the game in a fashion that they're used to seeing. I wasn't a big fan of it. Switching to football, we're going to get a chance to interview Mickey Marotti, JT Barrett, Pat Elfline, and Raekwon McMillan this morning after they finish up their morning workouts. So by the time people listen to this show, we'll be interviewing these guys. Uh, we'll start interviewing the players around 9 a.m. We'll get Coach Marotti around 10 a.m. And as I pointed out yesterday on the message board, we get to interview Mickey Marotti about once per year on average. Well, today is the once per year, and I'm really looking forward to it. Also, the three guys that I mentioned have already been named captains by Urban Meyer. He will add at least one more captain, although he might add two or three more. Each year he's been at Ohio State, he's had more than four captains. So three of these guys have been named captains so far, Barrett, Elfly, McMillan. I expect at least one, maybe three more will be added in fall camp. You know, just what are you curious to hear about from the players and Coach Marotti specifically, Bax? All right, well, first thing first, J.T. Barrett, I have two questions for him. One is how big of a difference is it going to be coming into the year as the clear-cut starter? No, we're looking over his shoulders. How does that change his preparation? I think that's something that's going to be fascinating to hear because we got a candid answer from Cardell Jones after last season was over. We really haven't gotten one from J.T. yet. And now he's still in the program, so, you know, obviously there's going to be a little bit of a political correctness side to it, but I'm interested to see how J.T. responds to that. The other one I would ask J.T. is, of all these young receivers, who are the ones you think are going to step up? Because, let's face it, none of us really know which of the dozen receivers out there are going to be a big-time player for the Buckeyes this year. But if somebody has an inkling, it might be the guy passing the ball to them. So those are the questions I'd have for JT. For Raquan McMillan, I'd immediately go up and say, hey, as the captain of the defense, you're really the only guy you know, who's coming back and has even captain-level experience. But what's going on with the safety position? I mean, I've said a hundred times before, I'm super concerned about the safety position this year. Some people don't share my view. If I'm Raekwon, you say, you know, you got to be strong up the middle, defensive tackle, middle linebacker, safety. Right now, middle linebacker is really the only position that we have a concrete answer on. Who are the guys you think are stepping up here 
in winter conditioning to be in a position to fill those roles. And then finally, Mickey Mariotti, you could ask him 100,000 things. <laughs> Let's be real honest here. Everything from discipline, everything from who's attacked their nutrition plans in the proper fashion to who maybe needs to step their game up. Because let's face it, Urban's not above using some motivational tactics for kids who maybe need to step their game up a little bit. I'm curious to see if Marathi is going to be allowed to give a lot of updates on how each individual player is doing or if it's just going to be sort of a big picture sense. You know, you're right. You only get one opportunity to interview him a year. This his job isn't really a press-based job. So I think you're going to have a lot of very interesting responses come out of this if Mariotti is going to be completely candid. Great stuff as always out of the People's Champ, Matt Baxendell. I'm going to get the show posted, head on over to Ohio State and uh, interview these guys. I appreciate it, Bax. I appreciate the listeners for tuning into the show. I hope you guys have a great day. Take away best damn band in the land. Fire, 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 fire.